Dozens of people arrived at the Genesee Yacht Club Friday to say bon voyage as teams aboard 26 sailboats prepared for a challenging race to a Canadian island and back. As YNN's Christina Noche explains, the Scotch Bonnet Light Race puts even the best sailor to the test. I purchased it in 1982 and I've had it ever since. Newer isn't always better. There are things about the older boats that I like better, so I haven't been uh, buying new boats. At least that's how Bill Thompson feels about his Pearson 30. There's deciding on which way to go. The wind's better this way or the wind's better that way. There's a lot to take into account. Because to him, it's less about the sailboat and more about the wind and the team behind it. We have a sail for going downwind called a spinnaker. That one sail itself is 880 square feet. At the Genesee Yacht Club, 26 sailboats prepared for an intense race more than 80 miles long. 42 years in the making, the Scotch Bonnet Light Race has become a rite of passage for the avid sailor. It's a long race and um, it tests your endurance, it tests your, your skill as a team on the boat. Um, it's a very hard race to win. The boats headed 12 miles west to Otoma Skulls Friday evening, then north to the Canadian Scotch Bonnet Island, and will head back to Rochester. Usually taking around 18 hours to complete, most sailors don't return until late Saturday morning. But for a race... Sailboats aren't real fast. The pace can be a bit slow. Maybe uh, six, seven miles an hour is about it. And uh, sometimes you can get it going a little faster than that. That tends to get exciting. And since 1986, well, I've been known to win this race. Sailing teams have their own secret strategies. Keep your focus. Uh, when it gets cold and late at night, don't let your guard down. But perhaps the hardest part of this race is not getting sidetracked. You don't have a moon at all, and it's clear. The Milky Way is just unbelievable to see. By all the things worth stopping for along the way. Everything in the heavens is like 100 times brighter than it looks on land. Christina Noche, YNN.